Hello, welcome to the video that goes along with Lesson 6, which covers Chapter 5 in the Beginner's Book. In this video, we're going to help you learn a little bit about the mouse. As we do this, we're going to learn about a different kind of if and a different kind of loop. The loop we're going to use is a while loop, but instead of making it stop on some condition, we're going to make it go forever. So it'll be while true. So it's the condition is always true. The end of the while loop is the w end or while end. Inside the loop, we're going to have the read mouse statement. Read mouse is going to have the parameters x, y, and b. It could be any variables, of course. The first two, in this case x and y, will be set to the actual variables that represent the number of the coordinates where the mouse is at the time a button is pressed. B will be set to either 1 or 2, depending on whether the left or the right mouse button is pressed. So we're going to look at the value of B and decide what to do. If B is equal to 1, meaning the left mouse button is pressed, then we're going to draw a rectangle. The rectangle we're going to draw will be at the position where the mouse currently is. So we'll put in XY, that is where the mouse is at the moment. And then we'll put in for its width, Instead of making it a rectangle where the width and the height are different, we're going to use a size indicating that they're both the same, so it really draw a square. So this will be x plus size and y plus size. If the mouse button on the right is pressed, which we represented with the condition if b equals 2, then we're going to draw a circle. Of course, we're going to draw it using x, y and x plus size and y plus size just like with the rectangle. Of course neither of these will work if we don't have a value of size. So we'll set size equal to some value like 50. If we run this program the program will continue to loop letting us press the mouse buttons creating something everywhere we uh, shape either a rectangle or a circle anywhere we want on the screen. So if I run the program and hold the here and press the left mouse button, I get a square. Over here in the left mouse button, I get a square. Move over here and press the right mouse button, I get a circle. Again, and so on. Let's go back to the program. Let's make sure that you understand how this program works. In the beginning, before we do the loop, we set the variable size equal to 50 so that if we draw a rectangle at some xy position, it'll draw a square or a circle if that's chosen. The read mouse will actually set the values of x and y to the current position of the mouse. So that wherever we have the mouse, if we press a button, either the left or the right, we'll either draw a circle or a rectangle. The neat thing is, is if we hold the button down and move the mouse, even though B will stay the same, if we're holding down the left button, for example, it'll stay 1. X and Y will change so that we can run the program, hold down the left button, but as I move it, notice that I can draw a line. Now it's a big line because it's made up of all those squares. Let's go back and try it again. Let's set the size to something smaller, like 5. If I run the program now, I can move around the screen. If I hold down the left mouse button, I draw using circles. Let's go back again. Let's set it back to 50 so we have a big circle and a big square. But in this case, when I, when I press the button and move it around, let's again try, Notice that we left a trail. Notice that we left a trail because as the item moves, it keeps redrawing. If I were to go into this area and put in a clear screen command, then the old shape 
will be erased. Watch what happens. Now I draw the, the square, but as I move it, we see the square, or if I press the other button, we see the circle moving around on the screen, giving it a form of animation. We're going to use this in some later chapters to see how video games are created. There are lots more in this chapter, so make sure you read it and do all the exercises. The important thing here is that we've tried to show you a few things to help you get started.